Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So back at the beginning of April this year, I posted a video letting you know that if you are using Start All Back, which is a UI customization tool, as you may well know, for Windows. I mentioned uh, in the video, which I'll leave linked down below in the end screen, Microsoft could block upgrades to Windows 11 24H2, which is this year's annual feature update, if Start All Back is installed. And in that video, we had a look at a workaround to temporarily uh, fix the problem until a permanent resolution was rolled out. And this was the um, message that was appearing for Windows insiders in the insider program who were using Start All Back. And obviously, this was the um, warning that was popping up saying this app can't run because it causes security or performance issues on Windows. A new version may be available. Check with your software provider and so on. Now, go check that video out if you'd like some more info. But just to let you know that uh, with the recent update to Start All Back, which uh, has been upgraded to version 3.8, that um, support now for Windows 11 24H2 has been re-enabled and has been added. So if you are using Start All Back, this may be a nice move in the right direction. Now, if we just head over to the release notes, and I'll leave uh, this page uh, linked down below if you'd like some more info. Here's where you can download version 3.8. And if we have a look at the version history, over and above these other improvements, the one I want to focus on is support for latest 23H2 and 24H2 builds. So that means that, as mentioned, uh, this will work now once again on 24H2 and won't prevent any upgrade blocks. But just take note, they say required for August Windows updates. So this version will be necessary for the upcoming August uh, Windows 11 updates. And that's for version 23H2 and also version 24H2. So just uh, bringing that to your attention. So if you are using the uh, UI customization tool, start all back. Those upgrade blocks um, should be blocked. Uh, if you are obviously in the insider program and you are testing 24H2, mainly in the release preview channel, and that's with Start All Back version 3.8 that brings that upgrade. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.